unit is going to be brought to you by the company Nadula Hair. I'm going to make sure to leave all the details down in the description area for you guys. Get into the real reason why you're here. That's the hair. Go ahead and open this up. And they did include six pieces of extra tape. So I included a removable adjustable elastic band. So this is their pre-cut body wave wig. That is what it is looking like straight out of the box. There's your lace tape on the side. And what I love about this one is that you get a 13 by six parting space area. So we've been seeing the 13 by fours, but the 13 by sixes are now entering the chat. You also get your pre-cut lace and you can tell that they are already pre-bleached the knot. You comb in this unit and you also get your adjustable straps. I personally already know I'm gonna have to go in with some type of lace tint in the front because it's always too light right here which is just an easy fix you can go in with your makeup or anything but i like to go in with the lace tint so i'm going to go ahead and spray that on before i try this unit on what it is looking like on right now without me doing any styling and I am going to have to go in just like right here and trim down a little bit of the lace. But I do love how everything is blending into my skin now, especially once I added that tint spray. And yes, your girl did go a little extra heavy with the tint spray because I wanted this to be blended down. And it did what it was supposed to do. This is what the front of the hairline is looking like. So I feel like they did a really good job with plucking out the hairline. So I'm not going to have to go in and do anything. I am going to have to trim down a little bit of this lace on the side because you can see my ear is kind of like turning like this in order for it to sit how I want it to sit. Then yeah, I am going to have to go in and just trim a little bit. I do have my straps literally adjusted all the way in the elastic band. I have it tightened. So as far as the fit goes, it's flat. Okay, it's flat, it's not too big, so I am definitely happy about that, especially because I have a small head, and a lot of the times the leaves be too big in the back area, but this is laying down really, really flat, so no issues there. Into this parting space area, they did a really good job with making sure that this is nice and open, and it looks very, very natural, and of course you can take this back even further. And you can definitely move your parting around to the side if you choose to. So you're not just stuck with that middle part. So you can go all the way over. Now, of course, the further over you go, the tracks do kind of run like this way. So if you go over too far, then you are going to end up running into tracks. But you can do a deep side part with this unit. I'm going to do a glueless install. Uh, I am going to just put a little bit of mousse right here. And of course, I am going to use this tape on the side. I already have my sideburns pushed back so I don't have to worry about it sticking because you want to be really careful about that. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get to styling this and then of course I'll be back so you guys can see the final look and also hear my final thoughts.
Hey guys, two style options. Of course, I love the middle part look, but if you wanna get the hair up off of your neck, a claw clip is always going to come in handy. Especially with the summer coming up, you wanna make sure to keep one handy, especially if you like to wear wigs during that heat. And this is just going to help out. And I feel like this one kind of looks like a little bit more elegant, a little bit more put together. Just depends on how you decide to style your hair. You can always add some loose curls just using a flat iron. Go in with a bigger barrel because this one is pretty small. So it gave me a tighter curl pattern. Speaking of curls, I feel like it did hold up pretty good. I have to retouch up like a few areas in the front. But I didn't add any holding spray and I feel like it still looks good. Because I did style this straight out of the box, there were a few things that I noticed. In the front, I noticed a lot of shorter hairs right in this area. So I had to keep going back in with my wax and also a little bit of mousse because even when I initially put the mousse on the front of the hairline, it still had some shorter hairs. Um, popping out and then I also noticed it when I ended up moving the parting space around but they weren't like super short they were a little bit they were a little bit long but they were shorter of course than the rest of the hair but they did slick into place so I didn't have any issues with that I also had to go at the top of this unit with my hot comb to press everything down because of course I don't want it to look comfy at all. I did have to go on the side and cut down a little bit of my lace and I did have to cut into the tape the one thing that I noticed is that the tape sits like a little bit further back. So I had to go in with a little bit of holding spray like right at the edges because it kept popping up no matter what I did. So if you want to, you can adjust the tape and move it just a little bit closer to this area where you're going to lay it at. They do provide extra tape, so you can always just pull that one off and then reapply another one. The rest of the lace, I just used a little bit of mousse and everything laid down really perfectly. I told you guys I was a little bit heavier with the lace tint because I wanted this to blend in perfectly to my skin, but there were some areas I did still have to end up touching up with a little bit of powder. And I also ended up putting powder into the parting space area, especially on the side, because I feel like it was more open in the middle. As far as shedding, I did receive a little bit during the styling process, but it wasn't anything for me to worry about. And then as far as tangling goes, I received most of my snags towards the ends of the hair. Y'all, the ends of this hair is very, very frizzy. When I combed it out of the wave pattern, you could just see the frizz. So I'm hoping that once it gets washed and everything, it'll kind of help to tame it because it was already preset to that. And I didn't go in and straighten it out before I decided to add my wand curl. So like once I put the hair up and just kind of started moving it around, you can definitely see the frizziness going on. So I highly suggest going in with some type of serum just to kind of help maintain the way that the side of this is laying. It looks very, very natural. No baby hairs, no baby hairs needed at all. Um, right back here if you wanted to pull down a little bit of hair to like make it look more natural you definitely could it's still going to look good and i made sure to turn around so you guys can see it loving that they added more parting space to the lace because who doesn't want a 13 by 6. <laughs> okay give me 13 by 6 all day every day doula is coming up on their anniversary so I'm gonna make sure to leave any coupons that I have down below along with any other specials. Let me know what you guys think about this, where you feel in the middle part, or do you like the claw clip, or do you like both styles? If you are feeling this, once again, I'm gonna make sure to leave everything down below for you.